Welcome to the Vista Acres Homestead Channel. We'd like to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications button, and if you can, give us a like button. And again, thank you for watching. All right, y'all, welcome back to uh, Vista Acre Homestead. We're glad to have you, we're glad you enjoy you, and we really appreciate you watching our videos. Uh, this video is gonna be pretty short. Uh, we're gonna do a valve on the goose thing. Maggie, she's just tickled to death. And we're probably gonna plant a flower and plant some peppers. So uh, it's a little bit short because unfortunately, that old C word showed up again with us. Uh, my mother got COVID yesterday. I've been spending some time with her. She's at the hospital. She's in really good hands uh, and she's doing well. So we hopefully, hopefully she'll be out Monday is what they're telling me. So it's one of those things, one of those things that you just have to adapt and go with. But like I say, you know, you think life's getting back to normal, everything's fine, and then it, then it shows up again. But we're gonna have a good time. We're, we're, gonna put, we're gonna put a valve on the goose thing so that Angie can drain the water if, in case she has to, in case I can't do it. And then we're also, we're gonna plant a flower in her flower bed, and we're gonna get some peppers planted. And we really, again, we appreciate y'all joining us. All right, what I've got is, is I've got this fitting like so. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drill in the side as the plan. Got, got this fitting. And then this got a rubber thing where it'll go up against there. And then we'll tighten it up. I got this valve. It's a one inch. Okay, I got this one inch valve. And then I've got this uh, piece of... Uh, one inch PVC that I had laying around. So what we're gonna first do is we're gonna drill, try to drill a hole in this pond. That's what worries me is is this part of it. It doing right. I don't know how it's gonna do, but we're gonna try it. That went a little smoother than I thought it would. That's a little bit high, but I think it'll work, don't you, Angie? Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna put that there. Put a washer on. And this is a left-hand thread. We're gonna put it on there. Takes me a minute to get used to them left hand. Can y'all see for Maggie? Maggie wants to get in the way. She... All right, now the thing is, that went awfully easy. Let's hope it holds water. See if it leaks. I'll go ahead and fill it up up here where we can look at it. See what see what happens. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. That's the water that when I was filling it up. But the fit in itself, that's holding well. It's doing a good job. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, y'all, this thing, uh, uh, it's dry. That's good. I uh, want to give a big shout out to Nick at uh, the tractor supply over in Chatsworth. He did a really good job on helping me pick out that fit and spent a lot of time with me. And that's one thing I like about those folks, or they, they spend a lot of time with you and help you out when you need something. All right. All right, we're going to drain the water out of the goose pond. So what Angie would do is uh, turn that on, go do something with the chickens, come back to be drained, and then fill it up, and then she'd come up here and do something with the quail or whatever else needs to be done. Hey. Right. 
<laughs> Looks pretty good there, don't it? It'll go that way. It won't go under the nest. Oh, okay. yeah. Where's those rubber rings? They in your greenhouse? I need to change that now on that hose up there. Okay. Okay. We need to get that other one. These hoses fixed to where if we do leave that on, we ain't got water going over there right now. Oh, about. Now you had to do something. Hold that for dropping in the air. He's ready to get in. He's ready to get in. Maggie, quit stop. He is a cat camera shot. Maggie, stop. Some more. You know that way I won't have to move them when she goes on. She's she's there when she's gonna go on that sitting. You know what? Yeah. I have to be careful there's not enough room for you to turn the handle right there. Is there? Uh, uh, have to pull it back up this way. Don't do that. He ain't hurt that foot, has he? That's pretty. He is. They're both furry. They're real furry geese. Is that it? We don't like that blue thing. He keeps pecking it. Does he? Maggie, no. Maggie, get out. Get out of there. Hey, y'all. I want to show you this cabbage before we... Uh, before we chop it up into uh, kraut. We're gonna be doing that this evening and uh, be making some kraut. We also bought about eight heads from the Amish. Theirs look a little bit better. I don't know how they control bugs and keep bugs off their stuff, but uh, theirs looks a whole lot better than ours. The bugs almost got these, but I think when we get them skint down, they'll, they'll still look pretty good. And that's it, y'all on the cabbage. Okay, y'all, I want to give you an update on our cabbage that we got done. It's sitting here in a dark spot, and it's fermenting. So it's uh, got, uh, what, six, 12 jars in it, and I got done. That really looks good. All right, y'all, we're gonna put this uh, flower that Angie got at the Home Depot. Just a second, let me get my children straightened out here. Maggie, Bandy, will y'all quiet now? We're trying to do a video. Yeah, Maggie, leave Bandy alone. Here. Okay, I'm back now. We're gonna try to put this flower down that Angie bought. And what is it, Angie? Grail, Bales? That's the name of the company, ain't it? Oh, no. Palace Purple. This is a palace purple. Uh, looks pretty. Alright, I'm gonna need to hold
David is planting chili peppers. We got chili peppers here. We got jalapeno peppers. And we got sweet banana peppers, which I'm kind of thinking I probably want to plant them somewhere else and not in with my hot peppers. Hot peppers together, right? No. We'll plant sweet peppers down that end. Okay. I'm just a hard pants on. Should put your old pants on. Uh, I said you should put your old pants on. You've got your good blue jeans on. Yeah. That looks good for me, I don't know, too. Yeah. It might not hurt. That weed, it gets a little bit of dirt, but it goes crazy. It does. Y'all stop doing All that. These hot uh, I'm yes, I'll put those chili peppers, I mean those banana peppers. All but the banana peppers. I don't know what this is gonna look like. The, the cat keeps hitting the video camera. Quit! Do what, honey? What? Yes. Uh, yes. Those Sorrento peppers? Yeah. Yes. They did? A bunch of them. Uh, Where are you going to put those? What? There's a bunch of those down there. you got a bunch. That did good on the seat. Uh, oh, no. I didn't plant those. Those are still on the hearth. I had some, I had some seeds. Uh, I had some seeds. I think they're hoss. Yeah, we need to try to plant them just for kicks and giggles and see if they come up. I don't know though. We'll burn some holes on this side and plant some more on this side. Uh, burn some holes on this side and plant them on this side. You can put, I think you can put peppers pretty close together. 
y'all quit hitting this. Jalapenos. Uh, the ones that's not marked is jalapenos. Three jalapenos here. There should be more than that. There's some in a cup. What is those behind there then? These, those are all kinds. Oh, okay. Right. Put these uh, jalapenos down here to the end. Oh, great. That's the first part with the peppers. They're gonna break them. All right, I got two that I'm gonna try to separate and uh, pull them from the bottom, maybe that'll work. They're awfully close together. I don't wanna pull too hard. All right, there we go. Got roots on both of them. So we'll see how those do on our Thursday, Thursday updates. We'll see, hopefully they do good. Dang old bug. That morning glory there, and they ain't bothering it a bit, are they? I know. Look at all of them up under there. They're awful. Japanese beetle, ain't that what we said it was? Mm hmm. I don't know if he's doing or not. Japanese beetle. And they sound we'll have to fend off be the birds. Whoa. Right? Morning. Uh-huh. Beetles ain't gonna leave a lot of grass or leaves for grapes to hide on. Told you. We didn't get in here and spray it. We wouldn't have no grapevines. I don't know if they've killed the grapevines. Look at all those. Supposed to kill the eggs and everything this stuff is. Should have sprayed that first day we saw them. You know, 